Okay, it seems that everybody wants to know about their genetic makeup these days. Uh, we're giving and getting test kits that uh, we spit on and then we ship them off and we anxiously await the DNA results. Knowing the family heritage is important. It goes to who we are and where we come from, what we're all about in our country. Uh, race and racial myths, they also play a big part in this. Most African American uh, that are born here, as far as I know, we just assume that we've got some white blood, you know, in, you know, in our DNA. But there are a lot of white people walking around the United States who have African American blood in them and don't know. We're going to get into that, believe it or not. Uh, Angela Trammell, she's an investigator. She makes a living at this. She, her father's company looks into genealogy and that sort of thing. Is it something new or is it because of social media that it just seems like it's blown up, it's big, we're all looking for our ancestors and who we are? You know, really not new, maybe in the last 10 years, relatively new to the general public, but you're so right. In the last few years, social media, um, bloggers, it's all becoming very relevant. Okay, I, I gotta ask you. Yes. Marion Cook? Marion Cohen. Cohen, what, what is your story? Uh, for the longest time, you thought you were who or what? You know, I grew up in Fairfax County, eighth generation, and I grew up African-American. I had an African-American mother, African-American father, but there was something that was amiss there. African-American stepfather? Stepfather is okay. what I found out, mm -hmm. because as I got to be an adult, I did spit in the vial, I met Angela, and come to find out my uh, suspicions were right. My father was a white biological man. That's a picture of your father right there? That's hold, a picture of him. Hold it up and turn that to the camera so we can see that. This is a picture of your father. How, how did you find out that, that your father was a white man? Well, you know, it was kind of like the untold secret in the neighborhood. Okay. You know, when I was born in 1959, it wasn't cute to be a mixed child. Right. So my mother and my father, my true uh, biological father, could not marry because of the laws in Virginia. Right. So she married an African-American man and raised me as African-American. Right. But then when I got my DNA test back, it showed that I was 70% white. Did your father know about you ever, your white he did. father? He, he did. He did know about you. But we never connected. He was never able, or he was never a father to you. Exactly. You were never the daughter to him. Yes. Uh, today, it's a lot easier to be biracial or none of the above when it says click the box. Is it yes. not? It is. It is very, uh, it's interesting how things have evolved because when, like I said, when I was growing up, it was not um, vogue to be mixed. It was you were either African American or you were white. Um, but now it is commonplace. Um, my uh, daughter is married to, to a white gentleman, so mm -hmm. they'll have mixed children. Dr. Um, Estelle Cook, what's your story? My story <coughs> is that I was born in Seoul, Korea, mm -hmm. and there's no doubt in my mind that my father was an African-American or a man of color, mm -hmm. and uh, my mother was Korean. Mm -hmm. And how, did you ever find your father? No. So, so no. to this day, you don't know who your father is? No, that's correct. Okay, what has that been like growing up not knowing who your dad is? Well, first of all, I grew up in an African-American uh, community here in Washington, D.C., and as was said, stated earlier, it was very, um, a, a, you were an oddity right. because it was very obvious that you were mixed, and um, at that time, the only country most people knew uh, uh, would be China, so mm -hmm. that you'd be considered Chinese. Right. Um, but I always thought of myself as being African-American. Angela, mm -hmm. what, what, what's it like when you, when you have those cases you're investigating and the white person finds out they're not really white, mm -hmm. you, you know, and if there's a drop, I mm -hmm. mean, that's tradition, you know, and history tells us mm -hmm. you're, you're really African-American. How do white people respond when they learn this? It's a mixed bag. Some people are excited to know that there's a little bit of mix in their ethnicity. Some people see it, say, oh yes, I do see that African, but I think that just happens. You know, these tests just sometimes it throws it in there. Some people won't accept it. Won't accept it because it's tough going from being a majority to being a minority Correct. and to being black, to right. being African American in this country because the country says, this is Robert Richard Marshall right here. This is my dad. Uh, we've never met. He, he's no mm -hmm. longer with us, but I never knew him and he never knew about me. My mother told me about him uh, long after he had died. Uh, I gave my son an ancestry kit for Christmas. 
And so he spits in the thing, he gets the results back. And one of the things they say to him is that this person and this person, two females who live in Indianapolis and um, uh, Florida, they may be your first cousins. And it turns out they were his first cousins. Oh, wow. they, this is their grandfather. They are my <laughs> nieces. So I, I just say, I believe in this. And it, it, it's an incredible story. Yes. I mean, it makes us interesting mm -hmm. and it makes us want more. So we're now talking about family reunion and a lot of other things. So mm -hmm. I, I love the work that you do. We're going to be talking a lot now yes. because of, I think we started something. You, uh, the name of your company is? Kinfinder Group. Okay. And you can find us at www.kinfinder-events.com. We'll have a symposium in March. So check out the website for all of the information. Okay, we well, maybe on something here. Maybe we can come back and we can continue this di dialogue. Thank and, you. Uh, and, and encourage others, I, I mean, to search Dick, you know. All right, back in a minute.